So I've got an SSD mounted up here, and if you haven't seen my previous video, check that out on this setup. I'm talking about recording video out the USB-C port, but today I'm gonna look at some other accessories, starting with recording audio. And the first one is the most basic there is, and that is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. Pretty self-explanatory. You pop that in, and when that goes in, you have to put a mic in there. And you need a mic that is a TRRS connection that has three lines basically in layman's terms to connect to a phone. If you have two lines there, it won't work. Those are for traditional cameras. So you plug that in and now I've got audio coming into the phone. You can see it on the screen here. It says USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. And sometimes with the Black Magic app, I've discovered that when you first plug a mic in, it may not work. You have to go into settings and just basically activate it. Choose what you want, stereo or mono, go back, hit camera, and then it'll show up. So just be warned about that. That could be a little bit buggy. But anyway, recording audio is very easy with a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, more or less. But in this case, we're using it with a microphone. Now I'll go a little more advanced recording audio, and that is using an accessory that I highly recommend. And I've recommended this for several years, and this is the Rode AI Micro. The cool thing about this is it has cables for USB-C, Lightning, or USB-A, and the cables just pop right in. And so I used to use this on my previous phones, now I'm using it with the 15 because it's USB-C. Come back into the Blackmagic app. Now, when you plug that in, all the sound goes away, but it says Rode AI Micro. The beauty about this setup is it allows you to plug in two microphones, it's two channel, and any type of mic. It doesn't matter if it's TRS or TRRS, or even XLR with an adapter, as long as the mic has power. So now I've got audio coming in channel one, and about a second mic, I come in channel two, and it would be split track, which is great. So if you're recording an interview and you want two people on two different channels, this is the way to go. And again, the great thing is you don't have to worry about having the right adapter from your mic to get into your phone because the AI micro is doing the conversion for you. By the way, anything I'm talking about in this video, I'll have links in the description if you're interested, but this is an accessory that will instantly turn your phone into a much more professional device when it comes to sound recording. Now I mentioned in my last video, I talked about connecting an SSD. Out of that video, the number one question I got is, can you record audio using a mic at the same time as you're going to an SSD or any type of external source, a SD card, a CFAS card, whatever? And the answer is yes, of course. You just have to have the right kind of adapter. And I'm gonna show several different ones. This is one of the cheapest ones I found and partly because it has analog audio or USB and then it has a charging port as well. The main thing you need to know about using these hubs is you have to have a port that will do data transfer. It can't just be a charging port. You can't get data out that port right there. That's a charging port. You can only get data out of a data transfer port. And on this one, again, this is a less expensive one. You have an analog audio out and then you have a USB-A type output, but it is USB 3.0 speed, which is what the iPhone is. So you connect that. You connect your mic, and then I'll use a, a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And now, check, check, check. Okay, now I'm getting audio through the USB-C audio device. I do have to have the gain cranked all the way up, but I'm talking behind the mic. And I should be able to now go out to the SSD. If you've seen my previous video, you know you have to go in here and change where it's saving the clips to. And it has to go to the files. And there it is, Mac Mini T7, that's what that drive is called. And in here, there's a folder that it creates called DCIM, 100 Apple, and that's where the files will go. So now I am recording to my SSD, going to an analog mic through the small, simple adapter. I think this thing is like 20 bucks. Again, I'll have links to all these various accessories in the description of this video. And so this is a very cost-effective solution, and especially if you're using an analog mic. Now, if you're using a digital mic that needs a, a USB or a USB-C connection, this wouldn't work because this port right here is charging only, which is nice because I could run that to a charger if I'm shooting 
and keep the phone charged. But now we'll look at a more advanced solution. All right, and here's one more setup that is really more the advanced setup, I would call it. And the USB hub is bigger. And by the way, I don't really have a solution yet for putting all this stuff together. This is still a work in progress, that part of it. So what I've done here is I've connected my Rode AI Micro to this into USB A, and then my SSD drive is connected via USB-C. So this has a lot of ports. This one transfers data. This one's a charging cable. This is another USB-C. Then over here, you've got a headphone jack that you could technically run an analog mic to. And then very cool, this one also has an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. And I have tested them, they all work. And then even more, it has an HDMI output, which you could also send an HDMI signal out to a monitor as a client monitor or whatever to see what you're doing. And so this one is kind of, for my current testing, the granddaddy, and it works great. And you have everything connected at the same time. So right now, again, I'm going out to my Rode AI Micro and the Blackmagic app sees it. You can tell right there on the screen. And then down here, I'm going to the drive and I've got two hours and 57 minutes with this current setup. I think I'm shooting, I don't even, what am I shooting? I'm using 422 proxy. That's why you get so much. With higher quality, you wouldn't quite have as much. Although this is a one terabyte drive, I believe. But now, hopefully you can see with the right USB-C hub, you can send out external video via SSD, use a mic, but also monitor with an HDMI and or use SD cards, all because of Apple adding the USB-C to the phone. So I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Now I just need to figure out how to get all this combined into one clean setup. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.